Making money online using Canva does not have to be overwhelming, even if you are a beginner to selling digital products online. So today in this video, I'm gonna share with you three Canva template ideas that you can create and sell online as a beginner. So if you're interested in that, let's get into it. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa and this channel is all about starting and growing your digital product business and making passive income online. So if you're interested in that, then definitely consider subscribing. So over the past couple of years, I have made thousands of dollars selling templates that I've created on Canva. So in the beginning, I wasn't the best designer. This was actually my first design. It's incredibly cringeworthy and embarrassing, but Soon after I created this design, I started to dabble in Canva and I started creating templates. Those are the templates that have made me thousands of dollars. So today in this video, I wanna share with you three easy beginner level Canva template ideas that you can create and sell online, even as a newbie. I'll also be sharing with you some handy online tools that are gonna help you validate the market and find trends that way you know that your digital products are guaranteed to sell. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can find a ton more digital product ideas so you're not limited to the ideas I share in this video. So let's just jump into the first Canva template idea I have for a beginner. So the first digital product idea I have for you are Instagram highlight icons. So we're gonna use the Etsy SEO research tool called Marmalade. And if you're interested in trying out Marmalade for yourself, I will link a free trial down below in the description box. So basically what Marmalade is showing us right now is that there are 277 monthly searches for this keyword. Shoppers are engaging with listings using this keyword over 1100 times per month and engagement means visiting, purchasing, and favoriting listings. And over 17,000 listings have these keywords in their titles and their tags. So if this is something you are interested in creating, it does have a good amount of engagement and there's relatively low competition. Now, why is this a good idea for a beginner? Well, if you type in Instagram highlight icons into Etsy, you will see that a lot of these are pretty simple. Some of these are just text, including a bestseller. So it's just script with a background. So they shouldn't be too difficult to create. Now I went ahead and I created my own and just to show you an example, what it's gonna look like is they're gonna download something like this, but once they upload it into Instagram and they make it their highlight icon, it's going to look like this. It's going to be a circle. And if you want a tutorial on how to make these or any other ideas I share with you today, do let me know in the comment section down below which idea you want me to do a tutorial on. And if you want me to do more than one, let me know which one you want first. So another thing I wanna show you is how we can use Pinterest trends to help you design highlight icons that are in high demand. So what you can do is just Google Pinterest trends and then you're just gonna start to type in your keyword. So let's just type in Instagram highlight. Okay, and what's gonna happen is trending keywords are gonna start to populate down below. And you can see here that Instagram highlight covers pink is actually on a upward trend, which means that the demand for pink highlight Instagram covers are on the rise. So now you have a better idea of what color theme is most popular so you can make a product that sells really well. Before we move on to the next idea, if you are serious about growing your digital product business and you want more support, I invite you to join my free three-day challenge called the Passive Product Payday Challenge. So in this challenge, we're gonna get clear on your niche, clear on your profitable passive product idea, and we're also going to map out your irresistible offer. So it's a three-day challenge, it's completely free. We're starting on June 7th. So if you're interested, the link will be down below in the description box, and I hope to see you there. Okay, so the next digital product idea I have for beginners are logos. Now, if you type logo into Marmalade, you'll see that the search and the engagement looks pretty promising, but you'll notice that there is high competition. But if you scroll down, there will be two helpful sections that will show you more specific types of logos that people are actually in the market for, okay? So we're gonna look at similar shopper searches and long tail alternatives. Now let's start with similar shopper searches. You can just toggle by engagement. Okay, so real estate logo is green across the board. Hair logo, so that's probably for a hairstylist. Um, what else is there? Custom logo stamp, that wouldn't work. 
Okay, real estate logo again, makeup artist logo, feminine logo, jewelry logo design, minimal logo design. Okay, so here are a bunch of ideas of the types of logos people are actually searching for and wanting to buy. Now I'm gonna focus on real estate logo and the reason why is because I did a little extra research and I went to Pinterest, but this time I went to the ad campaign section. And there's a really handy tool in the ad campaign section on Pinterest. You do need a business account in order to access ads and that's completely free to switch your Pinterest account into a business account. Now, if you scroll down and you go through the motions pretending that you're going to start an ad, you're gonna hit on keywords and then add keywords. So in this ad campaign section, what you're gonna do is whatever keyword you type in here, so let's type in marketing tips, a bunch of keywords are gonna populate underneath and these keywords are related to whatever you put up here and it's going to share with you the monthly Pinterest search volume for these keywords. So let's take a look and see what we have. What is related to marketing tips? What are people searching for? I'm seeing a bunch of generic things, but look over here. I see there's 5 million plus searches for real estate. Okay, let's keep going. YouTube tips, Facebook Live tips, business marketing, Pinterest strategy. Let's go to the next page. Okay, here we go. Real estate marketing is searched for 5 million plus times on Pinterest per month. Real estate tips, again, over 5 million. New real estate agent. Over 5 million people per month type in new real estate agent into Pinterest. So obviously this is telling us that a lot of people, 5 million plus people are looking for real estate marketing tips or they are new to being a real estate agent and they're gonna need marketing materials and they're going to need a logo. So this is good news for us if this is an idea we wanna go with. One thing to note is that Canva actually says you can't trademark designs with stock media, so be careful using it in logos. So I do wanna point that out. You do have to be careful when you're creating logos. But just like Instagram highlight icons, people like simple and minimalist type logo designs as well. So this is good news for us because we don't necessarily need to use stock media when creating logos in Canva. So for example, I created this logo, which I think is very cute, and I just used lines to create this shape. So I didn't have to use any of the free media elements or anything like that. Now, also you will see that I'm using these fonts and the good news is, is these are Google fonts and they're open licensed fonts. So if you click on it, you can see the name of it up here, Playfair Display. Okay, so if you search for that, you can see that it is a Google font. And when you go to the license, it says these fonts are licensed under the open font license. So when you click on this and you go to the FAQ section, and the first FAQ question that they answer is can I use the fonts for a book or other print publications to create logos or other graphics, etc.? And the answer is yes, you are very welcome to do so. Authors of fonts released under OFL allow you to use their font software as such for any kind of design work. No additional license or permission is required. For example, logos, posters, business cards, etc. So you're free to use these types of fonts in logos. Okay, so the next digital product idea I have for you are Etsy banner templates. So you can see in Marmalade that the search volume and the engagement is there and the competition is low, making this a very viable digital product idea. So using the Chrome plugin, Keywords Everywhere, you can see the Google searches for Etsy are on the rise, okay? So Keywords Everywhere is a paid plugin, but I think you get like 100,000 searches for $10. So I pay for it because it's valuable to me and I like to use it to find trends. So you can see Etsy is on the rise. Also selling on Etsy, that is a keyword that is on the rise as well. So basically more people are shopping on Etsy and more people are selling on Etsy. So there is definitely a demand for design elements to help people open up their shops. So again, you can make a digital product like this in Canva using the fonts available to you and the free elements. So you can just go over here and select text and you can add text and change it from up here. And you can also go ahead and search elements for whatever you're looking for. So for example, let's say you type in aesthetic and you'll see some suggested keywords will populate. 
So aesthetic flower, you can see there's all different kinds that you can use. Also, you can filter for free so you don't get any pro elements. Because if you use pro elements in your designs, there will be a watermark over it for your customer if they don't have pro. So I do recommend using free elements. If you find something you like, you can click the three dots and see who actually was the creator. And you can click on that creator's name and see all of their other contributions to Canva. That way you can find elements that have a similar vibe. And if you want to learn more about creating and selling templates on Canva, including some of the legal stuff, because I know there will be questions about that, I have created a video that will really help you. I will link that down below in the description box. It's also going to teach you how to create templates in Canva and the difference between Canva Pro and the free version of Canva. Okay, so now that we went over these three ideas in detail, I don't want you to feel so limited, so let me show you how you can find a ton of ideas and how you can tell if these ideas will actually sell. So, of course, a really great way to brainstorm and get ideas is actually just going on Canva and selecting templates up here. Now, what it's gonna do is gonna show you by category all these different templates that they already have pre-made. Now you can't use these templates, you do have to change them significantly in order for you to sell them. But the good news is, is Canva kind of did the market research for you already because they wouldn't have these templates if people weren't actually using Canva to create them or use them for themselves. Okay, so let's say you just get a general idea of what you want to create. Then what you can do is you can go to Marmalade again, and this time we're not going to use search, which you could if you wanted to, but I want to show you the storm feature. So let's click new storm, and the storm feature will populate related keywords based on the keyword you type in up here. So let's say you are interested in creating a planner. Then what you can do is start to add any of these ideas that you think you're interested in to this bucket by clicking this little arrow button. So academic planner, let's just click it. Now it's added to the bucket. And Marmalade's actually gonna start populating more relevant terms based on what you add to the bucket. So it's gonna help you find more related keywords that you might be interested in saving to your bucket as well. So if you just scroll down, you're gonna see there are a lot of ideas and you'll be able to see at a glance if it's green across the board or if there's too much competition for something. So Storm is really useful. Okay, so now let's say you actually don't know if you want to create planners or checklists, calendars, templates, you're not sure, but you do know what you want your theme to be about. So you know what you want to help people with. You either know your target audience or the problem you want to solve for them, but you don't know what product you want to sell. So let's go back to Storm and let's just type in social media. Okay, so now you can start to see what is popular for social media. So Okay, media kit template, social media banner, social media icons, planner, and you could just start adding more and more. And as you can see, things get a little bit more specific. So now you have blogger template. Maybe you don't wanna be so broad and help people with all of social media. You wanna really focus on the blogging community, okay? Or maybe you wanna create Instagram templates or ebook templates. You can just get so many ideas by going through Storm and just adding things to a bucket that you think you'd be interested in creating and then exiting out the ones that you don't think you'd wanna create. So you can definitely save this bucket if you do find that you have a lot of good ideas on one storm search. And then also, let's say you wanna get more specific, so now you realize, okay, I really wanna help bloggers and I don't wanna focus on all aspects of social media. You can go to storm and you can just type in blog and it's gonna show you all the different keywords and you can do the same thing. You can start adding relevant things to your bucket. And again, I will leave that two week free trial for Marmalade down below in the description box. You can also use Pinterest trends and the Pinterest ad campaign section as well as Etsy to really see what is working well, what the trends are, what people are looking for. That way you can really narrow down your product and create something that people are actually buying, they're in the market for. So make sure you do your research before you create your first digital product. And don't forget, if you're interested in joining us for that three free day challenge, Passive Product Pay Day, the link will be down below in the description box. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, as always, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.